Now I've reviewed quite a few products over the last uh, couple of years, but I've got to say, I've uh, not been more excited than I have been today. And I'm reviewing the Flightscope Mevo Plus. Yeah, I think excited on two levels. One, we're on lockdown and I've got no uh, simulator, so I can't wait to get stuck into this. But uh, on another level, I've been trying to get hold of the Flightscope Mevo Plus for a couple of months. Ever since it was launched at the uh, PGA show back in, uh, what was it, January, I've been really interested to get and uh, take a closer look at this. So I can't wait uh, to tell you my thoughts because believe me, this thing doesn't disappoint. So first of all, I'm gonna look at um, the three apps that I've tried with the product itself, I'm going to talk about the accuracy of the data, and then I'm going to give you my overall opinion on what I think of this product. I'm going to start off with, uh, first of all, unboxed it uh, yesterday morning, and uh, I have to say, really impressed with A, how it uh, comes in terms of the packaging. But there's a little um, quote from Henry Johnson, the founder and CEO of Flightscope. He says, Flightscope technology is delivered to offer you performance data you can trust in your pursuit of excellence. And you know what, I think that's a really good statement because I think what this does, um, it brings an accurate amount of data and a huge amount of enjoyment to practice. And I think that's a key thing because personally, I struggle practicing, I struggle hitting aimlessly in the driving range. And as you've seen, I've built a practice net in my, in my uh, garden once again, without having feedback and information as to where that ball has gone, it's difficult. And this is certainly a game changer in that respect. But first of all, the product itself and what it does. Well, I want to talk about the size of it and the weight of it. That's a big shot to me because it literally, it weighs, that's my iPhone. And seriously, I don't even know whether it weigh, weighs very little difference to what the iPhone itself does. I got the product delivered, unboxed it, and like most of us, uh, went to the quick start guy, didn't read any great user manual, and just wanted to hit some balls and get up and running. And it did it very, very quickly indeed. And I was able to soon find my own way. And if I put a time on it, I'm gonna say conservatively, within five to 10 minutes, I had this thing paired with the phone, I was hitting golf balls into the net, and it was recording data. Honestly, I think it was close to five minutes and this thing was running. It's literally a case of, I'd already downloaded the apps. It's literally a case of switching this thing on, pairing it with your phone, and you're away. It is that simple. I just wanna make a reference before I forget in terms of depending on where you're looking to use this product, and in this sort of closed environment, um, which is classed as an indoor short area, you need to have really 16 foot between the net and the radar itself. And the way that works is between net and ball is a minimum of eight foot required, and from ball to radar, it's another eight foot. So just bear that in mind, that's a really important thing. If you're using any shorter space than that in terms of your practice area, this won't work. But that aside, it works indoor and outdoor, and I love the idea of being able to take this out on the golf course even. And for me, to do some club testing outside, it's a fantastic piece of kit. But the apps themselves, and there's three apps that you're gonna need. E6 Connect, which is the simulator software, You've got uh, FS Skills and FS Golf. I'm going to start off with FS Skills because that's the first app that I opened. And like I said, paired up very, very quickly and straight away I was hitting balls. But what this does, the Skills app literally does exactly what you'd expect it to. It tests your ability and it makes practice so much more interesting. And what I did was went straight to pitching wedge. I think that's where it might even start off. It throws up a target of 50 yards. You get five balls to the 50 yard target, you get a score, and then it moves it on to a 7,500 yards. You can also mix that up in terms of uh, the yardage, so it can throw up a variable, so one might be a 50 yard wedge, the next thing you've got to reach for your six iron because you've got it 170. I like that idea because that's how a game of golf is played, you don't always play the same club over and over again, so that was something that was interesting. And the levels of difficulty, again, they can change significantly. And that's the basis of the app. There's a lot more in there, but on the pure basis of your understanding the practice element, that's what it does. And for me, the game changer in terms of, instead of me just hitting balls aimlessly into this white net that I had done for four days, 
all of a sudden I was getting instant feedback in where that ball was going and was I hitting the yardage that I was expecting to hit with each club that I had in the bag. So again, for gapping purposes, fantastic. But they, 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 you know, there's other products out there that do that currently. So next up is I went into the E6 Connect, which is the, uh, the software, the gaming software. And this is fantastic. I'm using a demo piece of kit at the moment. So for me, it's something I've got access to one golf course. And believe me, I'm addicted already. So the idea to switch it up between 17 is fantastic. But again, it's, um, it's just very engaging, I suppose is the word. And for the quality of, the, um, of what you're seeing visually, it's fantastic. The accuracy of where the ball is going as well, again, really feels like it's going where you're aiming. And you soon know if you know your own swing where a ball is uh, probably gonna end up, but just to see good shots rewarded middle of the fairway and all of a sudden you're playing into greens. Like I said, it takes for me, whilst FS skills is something more of a repetitive, uh, dr drilling in yardages, that type of proper, proper practice, this brings a huge fun element to playing a round of golf, but within an environment at your home. And in this case, we're on lockdown right now. I've played the game on my own, but the idea of having a few friends around, a few beers, and to play this in the garden, I think it'd be a fantastic bit of fun. And like I said, it's just so easy to set up. And one thing to mention with all of these apps, they're very, very intuitive. They're very, very easy to use. I have not read one user manual uh, since I went to the Quick Start Guide. It was a case of just flicking through, finding your own way through. Most of it is very much self-explanatory and very easy to understand. So again, that's an important bit. You don't want a complicated setup. You don't want to be messing around trying to connect to the machine. And like I said, seriously, it's a case of switching the app on, switching the machine on, and you're done. You're good to go. Finally, uh, FS Golf itself, the app. This is the bit where I think it's more data-led, where you're purely, you're looking at, uh, drilling down numbers, looking at your spin numbers. For me, on a testing level, uh, I think it's fantastic. It's perfect, just what I need. Every parameter that you could want in terms of data is there for you to access. But for me, the key numbers like carry distance, launch angle, spin number, ball speeds, club head speeds, they're all there for you to access. And uh, I really like that. That's key element for me. And uh, the final bit that I want to talk about, well, let's just mention first of all about F FS Golf. You can also record yourself on your camera phone uh, with the swing, and then it'll throw up the data that's relative to that swing. So again, just a little bit of added enjoyment element. And it's, again, it's a great to share on social media, that kind of thing. It's very easy to do in that sense. Um, but for me, it's more about the data and finally the accuracy of that data. And all I can say is this, I've not got it lined up with several different machines to compare what each one of them says. And uh, ultimately, I suppose, who knows which one of them is right anyway. Uh, but what I will say is this, I've been using TrackMan for the best part of uh, 18 months. Uh, I know my wedge seven iron driver numbers and I know what my spin number would be, probably pretty much for each club and the yardage that I expect as well. Um, and it's very easy to sort of check back in terms of what I've achieved with, uh, with the data on TrackMan. But I am more than comfortable that the data this is collecting is, is accurate. I mean, I don't know how far off if we paired them both together each would be, but I think you've also got to understand levels. And for me, when you're talking about a couple of yards here and there, or a spin number that's a few hundred revs difference here and there, if that was the case, it's not going to impact on my uh, level of, of play anyway. But like I said, I don't even know whether that to be the case, but the information that I've got, Bear in mind all the testing that I've done, I'd be more than comfortable in saying that this is very, very accurate in the information that it's gathering. Small point to mention, you need these sort of silver small dots, which if you want more accurate numbers in terms of your spin data, you attach one dot to, uh, to the golf ball itself facing away from you, the opposite end to the radar. And again, it gives more accurate reading in terms of spin data. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, other than that, I literally, I've got no more to say apart from the fact this is one heck of a good product. It's got a price tag. I mean, it, let's not beat around the bushes. I think UK price, 16, 1700 pounds. So it's by no means cheap. But if you look at the current marketplace, it's pitched in around where Skytrack is. You then go to the other end of the spectrum. You've got Trackman, you've got GC Quad, you've then got GC2. Um, 
But for me, and then bottom end, maybe Mevo, uh, it's sort of junior products in around £400. So it's very much, again, dependent on budget. It's very much dependent on what you want to spend on this thing. But for me, at 1700 quid for what it provides, the level of accuracy in terms of data, the fun, the enjoyment in terms of the E6 Connect, the, uh, the simulator software, and then coupled with just the fun uh, element it brings to the skills app, I think it's an unbelievably good value piece of product. And the only way I can put it is this, I've got this for a week or so, and um, I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna end up having to part with some money. Because for what I do, to bring the fun to practice in the back garden, to bring the fun to having friends around, and then to be able to take it into a serious environment to collect data for club testing and uh, the, the accuracy that it brings. I think it's an absolutely all round fantastic product. Right, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna carry on doing plenty of reviews while I've got the machine itself. Um, join us next week or so. As ever, keep on watching, thumbs up. If I've missed anything, by all means, ask a question. And as ever, I'll make every attempt to, uh, to answer in the comments below. Right, thanks for watching, as ever. Stay safe, take care, do all the things we should be doing right now and uh, hopefully we'll be back out on the fairways pretty soon.